Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Pastor JC. Good to see you on here this morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I hope today is the best day of your life. And, you know, so many good things that are happening, so many blessings that are coming our way, and God is going to change things up for you. I know things have been difficult, maybe trying, and you've struggled some, but God is about to change some things up for you. So I wanted to remind you to keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. I remember the story in the Word of God where uh, two men were walking on the road to Emmaus after the crucifixion and the resurrection. They were walking on the road to Emmaus. And unbeknownst to them, Jesus joined with them and began talking with them. And, and they began to tell him, hey, haven't you heard about this one named Jesus? And don't you know of everything that's happened in the last few days and, and what's happened with him? And Jesus began to expound to them everything about him from the Old Testament, from Genesis, all the way up until the moment he was walking with them. Everything that pointed to him every prophecy, every ritual, every bit of the law that simply pointed to him. And there was a moment of understanding for these disciples as they followed Jesus. There was a moment where they began, their eyes were opened and they saw Jesus for who he was. And they said, didn't our hearts burn within us? And this morning, you know, I, we could get so overwhelmed by things that are happening in our lives we may not have lost a loved one like they lost Jesus at that time, but just other things in our lives that feel like losses and things that can get our eyes off of Jesus. And so sometimes, even though he's walking with us, we don't recognize it and we don't feel it and we don't know it, but there's a moment when our eyes are opened. And you know, we used to sing a song that said, turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face. And the things of this earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. So I want to encourage you today. Fix your eyes on Jesus. He's the author and finisher of your faith. See him for who he is. You know, after Jesus rose from the dead, there was a moment where all the disciples were gathered together in a room and, and they were telling the story. Jesus had risen from the dead and, and how they had seen him. And one of the disciples named Thomas said, listen, I understand what you're saying, but unless I see him myself, unless I lay eyes on him, unless I touch the nail scars in his hand, I won't believe. It was just too much for him to comprehend or to believe without firsthand seeing Jesus. And today, no matter what you're going through, no matter how much it's hard to believe that Jesus is there, or no matter how difficult it may be to conceive that God is working all things together for your good, know this, there's coming a moment when your eyes are going to be open and you're going to see everything that God's been doing through this process through which you've walked, whether it's through 2020 or COVID or whatever we've been through, you're going to see the purpose behind it. So fix your eyes on Jesus. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. I love you today. I'm praying over you. May God richly, richly bless you. Just to remind Crossroads of a couple of things, those of you who are involved at Crossroads, our men's breakfast is this coming Saturday morning at 8.30. We will be meeting at the pavilion down by the bridge. Everybody bring your own breakfast. And we're just going to have a time of food and fellowship together. So I hope to see all my iron guys there. Um, also, this coming Sunday, we have a special guest worship leader, uh, Reverend Joshua Ryle, will be there leading us in a season of worship. And so I hope you'll be able to come out and be a part of that. It starts at 1045 this coming Sunday morning. I hope you have a blessed day. Walk in the favor of God and recognize that he is with you. I love you.